Vitamin D, really a very important subject to me and one that I think you need to understand a little bit about so that you are willing to commit yourself to taking vitamin D. Number one, what is it? It's a hormone. It's actually not a vitamin at all. Your body makes it in response to sunlight. The fact is vitamin D, or we'll call it cholecalciferol if you want to, so that you understand it's not a vitamin, but we'll, we'll go back to D and say that D operates in the nucleus of the cell. It actually influences over a thousand genes. Receptors for vitamin D are found on almost every tissue type in the body. We now know that vitamin D deficiency is associated with many different diseases, including cardiovascular disease, such as heart attack, heart failure, increased risk of multiple forms of cancer, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, various diseases of inflammation. So the fact is, it's very important for health. The bottom line is we're not getting it. Why? Because we're not out in the sun enough. And if you're not getting in the sun at the right time of day, your body doesn't make it. So what do we do? Are we going to get it from our food, from milk? Not hardly. It's not enough, not even close. And so what we've got to do is find a way to get it into our bodies. And the simplest way that I know of to get vitamin D is through a liquid rather than capsules. Capsules are not as well absorbed. So what's the amount? Well, anywhere from about 4,000 to 6,000 international units per day is what I recommend to my patients, and that's what I would say to you to get your vitamin D level up. To maintain it, maybe a little less, but start out with two to three drops of the product I recommend called Liquid D, D is in Delta 3. And that bottle of Liquid D3 runs about 20 bucks and will last you a year at three drops per day. Now, in terms of what you want to try to shoot for for a blood level, of what's called 25 hydroxy vitamin D is 60. And that's about the level that you get if you were a California lifeguard all summer long. That's probably what is going to turn out to be an optimal level. So take vitamin D as a supplement. It is incredibly safe. It is proven to be so in dosing much, much higher than the recommended dose that I'm talking about. So you can get it safely. It's important for every uh, segment of the population, but the dosing I'm giving you right now is for the average adult. So if you're a child, that is something that would be a lower dose. And that's not well worked out, but a general guideline would be 1,000 to 2,000 units per day. And that can be as simple as a single drop of the liquid E3 per day.